So in the last video we left off being able to write comments, in this video we're going to learn how to display comments. So let's get started. So to show comments under a post we need to create a new function. And this display comments function is going to need only one parameter and it's going to be the post ID, so the ID of the post under which the comments will be displayed. And what we want to do is go to our post class where we are displaying posts. And what we want to do is just create a simple query. So here we're selecting all of the comments for each specific post and we're storing them in an array called comments. And then what we'll do is just say print underscore our comments. And then on the index page, what we'll do when we display the post is we will display the comments about that post. So in here, what we'll do is we'll say end that echo. And then in here, what we'll do is we will say comment display comments. And we'll pass it the post ID, which is going to be post ID. So we'll run that and you can see that there's no comments under this one. There's one comment under this one and there's none under this one. If I comment something under the top one like that, I click comment, you can see now it has a comment. I can comment something under this one again. And now that one has two comments. So now what we want to do is display these comments properly. So here instead of print our comments, we could say for each comments as comment where we're referring to each item in the array as comment, we could say echo comment, 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 which corresponds to this column in the table, which is the text of the comment. Uh, and then we could just append on a break tag or we could append on a horizontal line. And let's just run that. So there we have our two comments. And then we could go in here, we could say comment and we could get who posted the comment, which is gonna be the user ID. And since we don't want the ID, what we can do is we'll say username and then we'll go back to our database and we'll do a query. So we'll say select all from comments. We'll run that, we can see all the comments and we'll say where post ID equals and we'll say five for example because it has more than one comment. So now we're only getting comments for post five. So now we wanna get the user ID. So what we can do is we can select all from comments. We can also then select from users. And then what we can do is we can say where post ID equals five and comments dot user underscore ID equals users dot ID to join them together. And when we run that, you can see now we have the username of the person who commented it. We also have all their other details from the table. So we can just be more specific. We could say we want the comment dot comment. So this gets the comment column from the comments table. And then we want to get the users dot username. And there we have everything we need. So we can copy and paste this query, paste it into here. And here what we're doing is instead of saying we're post ID equals five, we'll say we're post ID equals post ID and we'll add the post ID in later. So let's refresh and now we have the username printed out as well. And then here we'll just append on a squiggly line to say who posted the comment. And if we run this, now it makes more sense. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.